Now let's look at a specific type of a differential equation of first order called as a linear differential equation. Okay, this is a first order differential equation because we have a dy by dx and no more higher power derivatives. Okay, and this is linear because it is expressed like this where you have tx and qx which are entirely functions of x. Okay, so whenever you have dy by dx plus something over here which is entirely x based y equal to something over here which is entirely x based then we say that this is a first order linear differential equation. Just understand this could be like this also. It could be like dx by dy plus over here you would have something which is entirely y based is equal to over here you would have something which is entirely y based. Okay, These y and x obviously can be substituted to anything. Okay, So this is a first order linear differential equation. Let us understand how we are going to find a solution to this linear differential equation. Okay. Let us define another function g of x based on px like this. I have g of x which I say is equal to e raised to power px dx. Okay. Now let us see what do I get if I differentiate it. d by dx of gx is going to be what? Look if you have e raised to power fx then d by dx of e raised to power fx is going to be what? It is going to be f dash x dot e raised to power fx. Right? So over here I am going to have what? I am going to have d by dx of integral px dx dot e raised to power integral px dx. Okay. Let me just take this thing away. Whoops. I'll just get rid of this and I'll now simplify this. Okay. So what I get from this is d by dx of an integral px dx is going to be px. Okay. So I have px e raised to power px dx okay so what do you get d by dx of gx this is your d by dx of gx but my gx is e raised to power integral px dx so i can replace this by gx okay so this is what this is px gx okay let us call this as equation number 1. Okay. Now what I want to do is I would like to take the original differential equation which is my linear differential equation and I am going to multiply throughout by gx. Okay. So let me just paste it over here and I want to multiply it throughout by gx. So what I am going to get is let us see. I would have gx dy by dx plus gx px into y is equal to gx qx, right? Just realize gx into px is d by dx of gx. So let's substitute this. What I get is gx dy by dx plus d by dx of gx into y is equal to gx into qx. Okay. Just look at this term. What you have over here is d by dx of gx into y. Right? If you apply the chain rule, what you are going to get? d by dx of gx into y is going to be 